Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Ford Explorer. One of the most suitable features on this Explorer is its parking sensors. You have your heated and cooled front seats as well as your navigation system. Now, I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Ford Explorer. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Explorer is its daytime running lights. You also have your parking sensors just located right across. And then if you take a look at the very front of the grill, you'll also find the front facing camera. Over on the side, you have the 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels, integrated signal lamps, foldable mirrors. You'll also find your blind spot monitoring indicator located in the top corner there. So in the event that you're driving down a multi-lane highway, this indicator light will actually going off, will go off, sorry, just letting you know that there is another vehicle right beside you. And the color we're gonna be taking a look at today is white and taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats. You have your leather interior with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Power pedal adjustment as well as your power tilt telescopic steering wheel, mirror controls. You'll also find your power liftgate release located down below. Seat memory controls, power locks, mirror controls, window locks, and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function as well as the cruise control. Bluetooth connectivity, voice recognition, and then you also have it equipped with it a push button start. So all you have to do is push button on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now, as you can see, you have a couple of different features located on here. So if we actually take a closer look, as you can see, you have a couple of different options with the digital speedometer on your left hand side screen with the distance to empty tire pressure monitoring and if you take a look over on the right hand side you can also go through the nav as well as the entertainment phone connectivity and you also have a digital compass as well as an exterior temperature gauge taking a look at the center dash area as you can see you have your temperature controls located in the top corners there with a digital clock and exterior temperature gauge down below you have your audio controls climate phone connectivity and your navigation hazard lights and as you can see you have your parking sensors on and off and then if you hit the camera button that's located just over on the side here it'll show you a front view of the vehicle which makes things a little bit easier for you especially with underground parking taking a look down below you have your audio controls as well as your temperature control settings and you have the heated and cooled front seat controls for your driver and passenger it's matted to an automatic transmission and then if you take a closer look just at the top here you have the open and close for the power moonroof as well as your integrated garage door open controls. And taking a look at the backup camera now, as you can see you have those nice guiding lines and they're making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. So as you can see you have your parking sensors located right across. On the back of the tailgate you have the backup camera and the rear hatch release located just down below. Push on the button once and it will open up for you automatically. Closing in on the rear cargo space, as you can see, you have a 50-50 split for the third row. Now, if you want to actually fold down these seats, you can actually do so by using the controls that you see over on your far left-hand side. So if you want to fold both of them down or one of them down at a time, you can actually just adjust it accordingly using the switches that you see here. So, depending on what you want to actually do to it, if you want to fold down the seat completely, Fold that down and then as you can see it'll fold the seat into the floor for you and then that way you have plenty of cargo space as well and if you need more you can fold down the second row for yourself as well but even with the third row being actually folded up you still have plenty of cargo space located down below and then if you take a look on the back of the tailgate you'll find the close button just located up top just push on it once and it will close for you automatically Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com. Date us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.